Yeah. What's going on, y'all? We ready for another half an hour of debauchery? Yeah. That's what we give you. Socioism. Right? Socioism. You know what I'm saying? A little thumb in your butt on a exactly. Sunday. Exactly. On a Sunday. You know, shout out to Daylight Savings Time. We defeated it. We did that. We did that. We did that. You know what I'm saying? That's what we're doing the show. We have the racism and Daylight Savings Time. You know what I'm saying? Thanks to us. We did that. You guys are not running in the marathon today? Uh, I ran already. I yeah, already we already finished. <laughs> yeah. It, it was a sprint for us, really. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? We started, we were like, pew, and then we just ran straight into the studio. I just checked in and took an Uber. Yeah. So I don't see why other people don't do that. Like, yeah. I'm like, I'm going to run in 2021. What am I, Forrest Gump? Yeah, Fuck out of here. Dog. <laughs> also, if you live in New York, your life is a marathon already. Like, why would you do that on a Sunday? All right. Hold on, we got a wardrobe malfunction. Wardrobe malfunction. Is my nipple out? It's me. It's always me. It's always you. No, usually it's Miro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the wife. Oh, my God, my penis is exposed. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, the t-shirt? I thought this was Showtime. <laughs> Showtime don't show as much titties as it used to. They don't show as dick either. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't really check for that, but, you know. that single-handedly. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go, bro. You want a little Brazil? I got a marathon for you. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I got a marathon. <laughs> It's about to get long. Yo, uh, just us and Paul Giamatti, full fronts on Lil Diddy. Yeah, like I was watching Dexter, not a lot of dicks in it. You know what I'm saying? No Sadly. <laughs> blood, though. Yeah, but it's not real blood. Yeah. Real blood. <laughs> That's my favorite Mary J. Bly song. I'm looking for some real blood. <laughs> Something to make my heart bleed real blood. Um, all right, you guys want to get into some tattoo goss? Sure. Tattoo goss. Tattoo goss. Tattoo. Yo, uh, James Harden has anointed himself. Scary to hours. Yo. Wow, okay. Black Jesus, I got to do. Done my super cool client, Mikey Hardwick. Thank you for the trust, bro. Yeah, he was like, no, thank you. No, what? I shouldn't have trusted you. Doug, you made James Harden Jesus? What the fuck? He got to put KD on the other breast. Like, <laughs> yeah. he got to balance it out. Yo. And he's a safe, like, say Mary, like, yo, you know what I'm saying? I'm out here. So we're Jesus in heaven, like, I play defense. Come on. Yo, come on. What are you doing? Oh. I don't draw frowls. Yo, Doug. First of all, I'm like, if you saw this from far away, you'd be like, yo, this is like, I, what is this? I might be hung over, but I thought this was like the fucking Braves logo. Yo, like, I'm not drawn properly. I was like, this is some like indigenous slur type shit. Like, what's going nah, on here? Just right so over the neck. I'm be like, hey, man, listen. You, you're living on stolen land. Take that tattoo off your boob. And Jay's, and Jay's hard left with the emoji. <laughs> One single emoji. He probably tweeted that when he should have been playing defense. <laughs> Are you sure it's not James Harden? Uh, maybe it was. I'm not going to lie. I never heard of that name until a few people mentioned it because I'm not into sports at all. I don't like sports, so I don't know who that was. Bro, that's James Harden. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Are you a tattoo artist? Really don't fuck with you. And he was just like, Google map, black guy. God damn. <laughs> Like, also, if, you're, black if your tattoo artist uses that many hashtags, that's a warning right there. Yo, Ratchet Kukumunga. God damn, June? Again, a made up place. That's not a real place. <laughs> Hashtag Juneteenth? What the fuck? <laughs> Yo, what is this? Hashtag Father's Day? My man just threw every hashtag. He's trying to catch everything. Oh, wow. Hashtag Pomona. Hashtag Montclair. Dog, hashtag Ontario tattoos. Where are you, dog? Are you in California? Are you in Canada? He did the tattoo on Juneteenth. Oh. That's not how Juneteenth works. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Everybody okay. gets a black Jesus tattoo. Right. <laughs> that's the, that's, that's Toyota the... Thon falls during Juneteenth. You don't see Toyota making commercials about it. <laughs> hey, black people, you want to drive? Like, hey, you want to drive a car? Okay. Drive to freedom. Like, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Would you guys ever get a basketball player tattoo? A basketball player tattoo? Or like um, an athlete? Well, at one point in my life, I would have got a Sprewell tattoo because I always appreciated him choking the shit out of his boss. But now that I have employees, I would not get a because I don't want any of y'all to yeah, think yeah, about yeah. choking me out. Yo, yo, I thought you respected this shit. Exactly. Yeah. I like cooking. <laughs> Every now and then when I get my breakfast delivered, they look at me like, yeah, nigga. Yeah, I'm like, ah, yeah, come on. Yeah. I'll be Jesus, saying hello to you. Yeah, Jesus Carlos. They're like, here, here's your hot sauce. I was like, oh, <laughs> But to get your ass. But I might get a Jeremy Lin tattoo. True. Yeah. Just to commemorate the insanity. Yeah. You know what I'm it's two weeks. Which also is a problematic term, apparently. You can't. Uh, 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 listen, today. What, uh, what is the PC term for insanity? Lin, 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 excite, Lin, Lin Excitement? Lin Sight? Lin Manuel Miranda? Lin Not Lin Manuel Miranda. Enthusiasm. Lin <laughs> this has nothing to do with Hamilton. <laughs> this is back when Lin stood for something. Okay? 
Okay, and we're moving on to future Mayor Goss. Damn, I thought you were going to say we're moving on to future yeah. Goss. I was like, I was like, you're misogyny. You're Here we go. Incoming New York Mayor Eric Adams vows to take first three paychecks in Bitcoin. Okay. Okay, right. first winning office, Adams has been thrown down with Miami Mayor Francis Suarez in a battle over who can transform the respective fiefdoms <laughs> into crypto capitals of the country. Fiefdom? New York City is now a fiefdom, y'all, and we are getting paid in Bitcoin. In New York, we always go big, so I'm going to take my first three paychecks in Bitcoin when I become mayor. NYC is going to be the center of the cryptocurrency industry and other fast-growing innovative industries like Stop and Frisk. Just wait! <laughs> Ooh, Miro, you're gonna fall on an NYPD bullet. Ooh, 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 ooh. I reside in Brigham County. <laughs> they don't even care. All right, you know, nothing, you know, we just flooded a couple of weeks ago, but no, Bitcoin. Yeah, that's what we need. Yeah, dog, yeah, fuck the trains and shit. Like, yo, you know he gonna replace Bitcoin. food stamps with NFTs. We're gonna be fucked. <laughs> like, yo, 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 yo uh, I wanna get a hot sandwich. Can I give you uh, this bored ape? Uh, yeah, no, here's an ape. Uh, here's a. Uh, Eric Andre jerking off. Wow. How can, I can't feed my family only one piece of Ethereum. <laughs> What's going on? Transform that shit. What's going on? What's going on? Can I step in real quick? Yeah, hell yeah, dog. Love your work. Thank you, guys. Trash in front of you. Okay. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> See, this is what liberals, this is de Blasio's New York. <laughs> Trash everywhere. Okay. Wow. Used to be a nice place. everywhere. People doing drugs in the streets. What are they going to do about the outdoor sheds now that indoors is happening? Come on. It's Get turning into a street. rat nest. It's disgusting. I was taking my adopted child to the charter school. No, all right. No. <laughs> <laughs> that was... <laughs> Big Cynthia and Excel energy. <laughs> oh. You want to see my Black Lives Matter tramp stamp? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Especially from the back of the ceiling mirror, you're like, oh, you're really, you're a baseball fan? You hit it from the back, you're like, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you're an ally. <laughs> oh, how are we doing these jokes on Sunday? <laughs> oh. It's time for some conspiracy gossip. Conspiracy oh, wow. gossip. Oh, God. Wow. Is this oh. conspiracy gossip or is this facts? Yeah, come on. Let's go with this. Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers. Oh, go ahead. God damn it. Aaron Rodgers tells radio show he is unvaccinated, getting COVID advice from... Joe Rogan. Of course. Noted doctor? Doctor? They're like, what medicine school did you go to? Spotify, like, nigga. Fear, fo <laughs> Fear Factor? How come every celebrity, when they get sick, they go to Joe Rogan? Fam, is he a shaman? I consulted with now good friend of mine, Joe Rogan, after he got COVID, and a lot of the stuff he recommended in his podcast and on the phone to me. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> I read that twice, doesn't make any Ew. sense, but... I realize I'm in the crosshairs of the woke mob right now, so before my final nail gets put in my cancel culture <laughs> casket, bruh, I think I would like to set the record straight on so many of the blatant lies that are out there about myself. The crosshairs of the woke mob right now. Dog, what the fuck? I thought there was more after this. I'm like, yo, you, this sounds like a rant. There is more. Oh, See? my God! <laughs> See? You had to open your mouth. Now look what we got. Oh, damn! I'm going to have the best immunity possible now based on a 2.5 million person study from Israel that the people that get COVID <laughs> and recover have the most robust immunity. I'm thankful for the people like Joe stepping up and using his voice. I'm thankful for my medical squad, and I'm thankful for all the love and support I've gotten, but I've been taking monoclonal antibodies, invertamin... In Ivermectin. Ivermectin. Ivermectin, zinc, vitamin C, and DHCQ, and I feel pretty incredible. You went to Dairy Queen because you had COVID? <laughs> what the fuck? All this to just not get a vaccine. No, wow. no. <laughs> oh my god. Also, no. like Aaron Rodgers is like, yo, I understand you're a doctor, but but no, I know. You know like, no, 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 no. You throw the ball. ball. Throw the ball, stupid. <laughs> throw the ball downfield, more than twenty yards, you bozo. Green Bay Health Group drops Aaron Rodgers as spokesperson. Wow! Wow! wow. <laughs> Provera Health and Packers quarterback Aaron Rodgers ended their partnership on Saturday. <laughs> Rodgers had been a spokesperson for the healthcare organization since 2012. The split is effective immediately. <laughs> immediately! ASAP! They're like, get that nigga out of here! <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he's like, I don't really believe in Western medicine, but uh, shout out to the uh, Provera Health and whatever group. Because like, they yeah, do oh, shit. Aaron, you check? You ain't Yeah, get the fuck out of here. All this because he doesn't want to get a vaccine. Wow. wow. What a pussy. Damn. <laughs> Listen, we come up with that same smoke we have for Kyrie, dog. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but this is even worse because he lied. Kyrie got in front of it. Yeah, he, Kyrie was like, yo, listen, 
I got crystal energy. I be saging shit. Mm-hmm. I don't think I, I don't think I, I don't think this is gonna affect my body. Or Aaron Rodgers did every time they asked him a question, he was like, <laughs> he was like, yeah, you know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I always say, you don't can't trust people who have double vowels in the front of their name. You say it? Why? Uh uh-uh. uh. Why? Think about it. Yeah, I'm thinking. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Team series a little sassy today. <laughs> <laughs> not, not asking her no more questions. Right? <laughs> Yo, oh my God. All right. Dog, what an asshole. You're an asshole, dog. You, I, you, I didn't know if you talk about Julia or Aaron <laughs> Rodgers. <laughs> I was like, save it for the slack, bro. <laughs> <laughs> asshole and all caps in the slack. Yo, he's an asshole, because he could have just, yo, there's not, it's not mandated in the NFL. He could have just been like, yo, listen, there's a lot of motherfuckers that are not taking this shit. I'm one of them. Also, the amount of people who are not vaccinated is going down rapidly. <laughs> like, it's not so cool shit anymore. Now you're just a weirdo. Now you got to eat that and give a dinner in the car. How do you feel? <laughs> you got to take a to-go plate when you get there? Uh-huh. Like, yo, you, so, yo, can I come in? No. Like, if you were with an unvaccinated family member, you, that shit's bad weird. Because if you try to dap you up, be like, you're yo, slow down, big man. Oh, what's good, my dude? Right, what's up? See you over there, brother. Hey, I see you. Like, yo, I got to meet auntie in the backyard. You got to do that shit from, like, across the club. Mm-hmm. You're like, hey, I see you, player. <laughs> hey, <laughs> stay over there. Right, last, last bit of gosh. Aww. Yeah. Oh, oh, shit. Rick Ross announces album, Richer Than I Ever Been. Huh. Come in December. Okay. Huh. Look at one man coming Woo! around. He about to come around the church with the altar plates. Like, what? Yeah. What? He's like, you tie them, my nigga? Yeah. Oh. All right, yeah. this is giving me big bad bitch vibes. Yo, he stole Billy Porter's whole swag, dog. Yo. God damn. You may have about to get into the fire office discussion with the Deltas. What? Like, yo. He's about to throw a glove down and be like, I challenge you to a duel. <laughs> He's like, Howard runs things. He's like, all right, relax. <laughs> We're on a Zoom. This is just like the, the, the beginning of like the Rick Ross Disney partnership. You got the Mickey Mouse gloves and shit. <laughs> He's just like, ooh, 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 I sold cocaine. Ooh, ooh, richer ooh, than ooh, ever. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> We're rich forever. <laughs> 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 oh. Yeah, he really got the Mickey Mouse gloves. What is this? And the, and the Liberace pinky ring? What are you, dog? Oh, man, you guys about to fuck up a brunch in Harlem. Yo, what? Ooh. Okay. After church. At what? Mm-hmm. Like, yo, he <laughs> talking about pastor was preaching today. I'm like, yo. <laughs> your man got all the peppermints in his purse. Yo. Like, yo. <laughs> <laughs> all at the bottom. Yo. Like, yo, go ahead. Dig in there. Dig in there. Dig in there, baby. There's one in there. Come on. I don't like Sister Ross, but she got candy. <laughs> Yo, I'm getting anxiety because he owns Wingstop, right? Yeah. He That's does. I'm just getting anxiety thinking of him eating wings with those gloves on. <laughs> like, hey, ah! you got to take him off. <laughs> you got to take him off because he's a boss. He's a boss. All man. right. I take my gloves off before I eat my wings. Huh? That's a bar. <laughs> Who does he keep them on to not get sauce on his hands? You know what I'm saying? Ooh. He could be that rich. He's so rich, he's wearing white gloves to eat his wings. $100 a glove. Uh, you know what I'm saying? $100 a glove, a Wingstop. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna say that on the album, you know it. Come also, on. that brooch, it, it seems a little nazi Like <laughs> Right? It's giving big, it's giving, like, SS vibes. Yeah, yeah. like, oh. Yo. <laughs> How y'all doing this just from the Iron Skull? <laughs> like, oh, Rick Ross, I didn't know you were a Panzer general. I'm like, yo, fam. I was like, I killed you in Call of Duty World at War. Uh, you were the final boss. This is promotion for Vanguard. <laughs> oh. Okay. Uh, you guys ready to start the show? <laughs> yeah, let's start the show, right? Yay! Yeah, let's get it going. <laughs> Yo, welcome to the Jesus and Mero YouTube channel. That's right, you know what I'm saying? Like, subscribe, you know what I mean? That's right, we got a lot of digital content right here to keep you up in between our shows. So be sure to like, subscribe, and you know, click watch another video. We out. Hit all the buttons, watch man videos, holla.